Yeah, we're excited for this game. I can't wait to see how this 2-3 zone works in a couple minutes here. And one of the better shooting teams in the country. I'll have more to report back here in another couple hours. Now, um, you know, love going to Las Vegas. Um, been there a few times, and it's a really, um, they do a great job, and it's an awesome location for fans. And, um, and the other thing is just being an early bowl game. Um, you know, sometimes these things can drag on for a long time, and so, it's one of the earlier bowl games, so we'll go prepare, be ready to play. And, you know, obviously, uh, personally speaking, there's a lot of other teams that I'd probably like to be playing for this last time, but it is what it is, and it's interesting how sometimes these things work out. Timing's a little weird, signing day on Wednesday. Yeah. How do you handle that? I think we're fine. Um, because the coaches can be out this week. This is the last week out for quite a while. So they're all out. Finals are this week. So kids will take care of that. And then away we go. So it's really like kind of a normal a normal game week. And we'll be down there when, uh, you know, the, the pitchers come in. It's not faxes anymore. And, and so I think it's going to be fine. Do you get here or down there for signing day? Well, I think we'll be in Las Vegas for signing day. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you are. That, that game in 15 down there at Boise, mm -hmm. you saying that you couldn't wait till it was over. Yeah, and that, and that was different because on every, one of those, every one of those players, well, almost all of them, you know, we were involved with. And so that was a really, really difficult situation. And then to have to go back into Bronco Stadium and, you know, all those things, Albertson Stadium and... Um, you know, play that was that was different, and so you know, not too many of those kids. I think some of those kids we were there was a couple that maybe still be there that we were talking to, but you know, now half the staff, um, you know, half those guys we we definitely know pretty well. Has there been a feeling of almost relief for you the last few weeks? Ago? Um, I don't I don't know if it's really relief. I just kind of go back to like I just feel very strongly that's the right thing on both accounts. Um, I'm also under no illusions that like, and maybe this is why the relief is not the word. Like I'm not under any illusions like, okay, this is easy now. Um, all these, all this behind me and now my life gets good. There's a lot I got to get figured out. Like, you know, now, I mean, this is one of the harder things probably that I've had to do. Um, because I've always known what I was going to do for the last 30 plus years. And now I really don't know what that's going to look like. So that's, that's going to take some work. Are you surprised at the matchup? Because uh, you're obviously at the center of it with your, your two schools, your two head coaching stops. And I think they probably thought that would be great to sell tickets and bring two teams together with that combination. That doesn't surprise me with, uh, yeah, whoever's in charge of that. I don't know what to say. No, I mean, no, those guys are recruiting so, you know, vicious, uh, viciously, frantically, urgently, I guess is the right word, um, that it's, this is kind of how we wanted it, um, that they could go recruit and everything that had to do with the bowl game and practice and all that, that I could handle and make sure that we're organized and away we go. And, um, you know, as soon as the signing day is here and, or we get down there, um, you know, I think you want the situation to be as normal as possible, even though it's not completely normal. Hunter Bryant announced he's taking off. Is he going to play the bowl game? No, he's not going to play. Yeah. So talk about what went into that decision. I don't know. Yeah, Trey Adams is not going to play either. Yep. What was your reaction to Hunter's decision to declare? You know, I mean, certain guys, um, they got to do what they got to do. You know, that's all I can really say to that. Trey Yeah, it's all that. Obviously, Jacob Eason's going to have a, a draft decision. Yep. Is there any chance he wouldn't play in this game? No, he's, he's going to play. I know you like to make it on the players, but you mentioned earlier it's, they're going to focus on you. How are you going to get away from that? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's probably the reason I don't like that. Um, that's not what this is about. It's not even kind of about that. It's about these players that, you know, worked really hard this season and, you know, Boise's had a, 
an unbelievable season again over there. And our guys have been through a lot and grinded through a lot. And now we're going to play a really good team. And that's what it should be about and nothing else. So. Are you surprised that, uh, boys, you didn't draw, and you were in this position before when you took the team to the PS Bowl, that they didn't draw more of an uh, interest from the, the bigger bowls? Well, I'm sure they did. Um, but, you know, to actually go there and all that, you know, sometimes, I mean, those can be tough situations and political and all those things. And so, yeah. What, what have your conversations been like with recruits after just telling them? Yeah, they've been really good, really positive. You know, the whole, our, our ex-players, our current players, and really the recruits. I mean, I think that's been awesome because it's, they, they, I think they get it, and they get what Washington's all about, and they get what this coaching staff's all about, and so all of it is like there, you know, there's nothing easy about this going through this whole thing. It's not not easy on anyone, but it, as far as this goes, it's been pretty pretty smooth. How much you kind of kept an eye on Boise just as a captain? Well, you know, I think we always pay attention. Um, you know, there's. I think you pay attention to, you know, anybody that's in your league, anybody that you're really tied into, um, certainly all, you know, the teams in the West, you know, and our times, you always just see them play. And so we're always paying attention. H haven't studied or anything like that. How does Henderson kind of compare to other quarterbacks? Well, he, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I haven't, we haven't studied anything. And I know that they've, I mean, one of the things is they've done an unbelievable job is play three different quarterbacks and won a lot of games. And, um, you know, I know he's a, a mobile guy that can make plays with his feet, and those always give you problems. But that's about as much as I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got, a, well, we got, you know, we got some guys, I mean, for sure, that I think that's one thing that Coach Huff's done a great job of, of recruiting some guys in here and developing some, some depth and moving moving people around and all that stuff. And we've been doing that all year in practice. And so we'll figure out exactly what that looks like here in the next few days. 13 days until the bowl comes up fast. Yeah. Have you, how many practices have you guys had since? Two. Two, two total? Yes. How many practices will you get in? Between we'll now? probably get another one or one or two in and then game week. Probably one. We'll see. We we always um, even back in boys we we always if we weren't going to like the Fiesta Bowl rose like this is always one that um, and, and especially the recruiting rules were different at signing days and all that but you liked playing early because it gave you a good chunk of time to be at home and this is going to give you a good chunk you know everybody a good chunk of time now for me. I'm going to have a lot of chunks of time at home, so I don't know if that really matters. But I also like it for our players because, you know, we're always playing in those late bowl games, and they come back to school, and they're not necessarily working out, but they're here. And um, they need time away. And so now they're going to actually get a little more time away from this place, which I think is very healthy for them. Nothing like football just to put things back in perspective and create order back in everybody's lives. And so that's what I think, you know, we kind of saw out there is it's good to get back out there and get back to the drills and, and all those type of things. And um, like I said, um, sometimes um, it's a fine line between some of these bowl games when they are that they can, you're getting good work with young guys and the whole team, but sometimes they can drag a little bit as well. And there will be no dragging this time because it's going to go fast and we're going to play quickly. So, Whatever your next move ends up being, whenever that happens, do you want to take some time and travel? And I definitely think, um, I think the one thing that I really um, want to do is be able to take time before I really figure out what this next thing looks like, whether you rush into something. You know, I just really want to be disciplined in that, that I, 
head the right direction. And I think it'd be really easy because there's there'll be some really cool opportunities. Say, yes, I'd like to do that. And oh, maybe there. And then I'm all over the place. And um, so I would like to take some time to really just uh, decompress and, and make, you know, smart, good decisions where I can still do something that's uh, impactful, meaningful, helping people and have a, you know, and have a really a strong purpose of, um, you know, what my life's all about with hopefully a lot more balance in it. Yeah, that probably makes it tougher. He's, he's, um, you know, he's not a boot or anything like that, so that's good. But yeah, probably a situation like that. Um, I mean, it's, I, we haven't really thought about that one yet, but that probably does. Is uh, driving your boat to work going to be a prerequisite? <laughs> yeah, I'll be driving by it and honking my horn outside the stadium when it's going on. What about a guy like MJ or uh, Jackson Kirkland? Yep. Um, you know, I think I think with MJ, just I think that's something that everybody's trying to go as slow as possible on. There's gonna be plenty of time for him to play football, so we're gonna be really, really smart there. And I think I think Jackson Kirkland's um, got a real good shot to play in this game. You think Easton's coming back? Um, you know, those are gonna be conversations for Coach Lake and him, and you know, I've. I've had a conversation and all that, but all that stuff's, you know, between between Jacob and his family and, and really Coach Lake and those guys.